hello everyone today we will discuss a new topic that is uh, malthus theory of population so before going to start malthus theory of population let's define what is the concept of malthus theory of population uh, we will discuss uh, how the malthus theory of population how the growth is uh, taking place because uh, a theory is related with demography in 1798 thomas malthus published his views on the effects of population on food supply his theory has two basic principles one is a population growth has a geometric rate that is 1 2 4 8 16 32 etc so the food production grows at a or increases at a arithmetic rate that is 1 2 3 4 etc so on etc so these are the two principles of malthus theory now we will discuss about ki how the these two principles that is taking place uh, of malthus theory uh, the consequences of these two principles is that eventually population will exceed the capacity of agriculture to support to new population numbers population would rise until a limit of growth was reached further growth would be limited when when it will be limited preventive checks postponement of marriage lowering of fertility rate increase cost of food etc positive checks famine war disease would increase the death rate so these are the uh, checks which takes play place positive checks and negative checks malthusian ideas are often supported by western governments because it highlights the problem of too many mouths to feed rather than the uneven distribution of resources so specifically the idea of malthus that was supported by by the western government and the purpose of that uh, malthus was uh, so the people they don't sleep uh, they don't uh, feel any kind of hunger they don't sleep with the empty stomach rather than uneven distribution of resources now uh, we will discuss uh, in continuation of malthus theory uh, this is a uh, graph through which you can understand uh, this graph ki how the population grows population is growing uh, geometrically is increasing very rapidly uh, because uh, i have already discussed that is 2 4 6 8 16 30 2 64 and so on so the number is increasing continuously so that is increasing geometrically which is shown through this uh, diagram the uh, second one is you see through this uh, arrow population exceeds carrying capacity and third one is population is kept in checks preventive and positive checks so when the, the preventive and the positive checks that takes place uh, uh, by the on the economy or by the adopted by the people so that is the population that is also coming down now we will uh, discuss about the anti population versus front uh, lists uh, we will discuss uh, here uh, malthus uh, is talking about the uh, anti populist because uh, uh, western government also supported his idea regarding to uh, feed the population that's more important regarding to check on the unequal distribution of resources uh, the malthus anti populations echoed in recent debate by paul and uh, henry lich author of the population bomb uh, uh, her lich believed that the earth's carrying capacity would quickly be exceeded resulting in widespread famines and population reductions boshurup what the Bo boshurup that was also the panelist what he said the uh, echoed in recent debate by Julian Simon who opposed Ehrlich by using economic theories 
resources needed to support population are becoming more abundant not scarer. So, these are the different different ideas of uh, the economist uh, regarding the uh, ideas uh, of uh, Malthus. So, there is a such kind of the debate you can say uh, through the ideas of, of both, the, both the authors. Now, we will discuss about population checks. What are population checks we will be discussing here? Population could not continue unchecked and Malthus classified two types of checks. Uh, what are these two type of checks? One is a positive checks, factor increasing mortality, war, famine, etc. or any kind of disease that has also been taken place in our country, plague that was also there. So, such kind of uh, even uh, corona we were also suffering from corona such kind of the disease that can also affect uh, at that period of time. And negative checks or preventive checks what we can say the factors decreasing fertility. What are these factors which are decreasing the fertility? Uh, that is about the moral restraint the people they uh, feel two child norm or small family system. So, that can also be there contraceptives etcetera. So, uh, it is uh, depending on human mind. So, they do feel uh, the population is creating problem and uh, we should have to think to reduce the population. So, they are uh, uh, adopting or feeling such kind of the checks that must be there in the in the country. And uh, he argued that moral distance the best way to divide uh, to avoid misery. So, uh, he suggested that uh, the moral uh, the restraint that is more important the people they feel themselves they do think themselves uh, ki such kind of the checks are required unnecessary without forcing in them. So, that was uh, that was his ideas and and his approach to for the such kind of checks. Now, we will uh, discuss about in detail what are positive checks. Uh, positive checks red line is equal to population blue line is equal to food. We will define it population exceeds food supply and is kept in check by famine or disease. The population will drop below the food supply as it recovers the cycle will continue. So, this is a positive check. So, automatically situation is changing. Uh, specifically by the by the passing of time and that takes place automatically. Now, we will discuss about negative checks. Here the population begins to approach the limits of the supply of resources. So, it means there is a balance between the supply of resources and the population that disrupts just go blue line ki baat karte hai. Growth slows Malthus might say this is a due to contraceptions, delayed marriage, etcetera. So, these are negative checks. So, it is because of uh, Malthus approach of the Malthus, it is because of maybe the male delayed of marriage or maybe because of the use of the contraceptives. And uh, recently the government has passed a bill uh, regarding to increase the age of marriage. So, the Malthus has also having approach if the age of marriage is also increased, so that is also helping to reduce the population growth in the in the in the country. Now we will discuss about the neo Malthusian. What is it? We will have to discuss here. Uh, contemporary geographers that because if you discuss about the uh, population theory, so this is a uh, theory of the demographers. So we will have to think or we will have to explain in the light of demography. So, contemporary geographers said that two characteristics of recent population growth make Malthus theory more realistic today. So, what are these characters, uh, characteristics we will have to discuss. So, that Malthus theory of uh, population is uh, uh, keeping its relevance in present scenario or the present approach according to uh, these two characteristics. So, we will have to discuss it. Uh, transfer of medical technology, but not wealth from MDCs to the less developed countries. 
to the medium 12 countries to the less 12 countries. So, such kind of the medical technology that can be transferred. This has allowed for faster population growth in poorest areas creating large gaps between the resources and population. Second one is Neo Malthusian, Robert Kaplan and Thomas Fraser expanded Malthus ideas to more than just food, but to also include energy resources. Uh, how they argue? They argue that war and civil violence will increase as clean air, fuel and suitable farmland becomes more scarce. So, this is the approach of these uh, two uh, the demographers or the geographers. So, they think Malthus theory in this direction. Now, we will uh, discuss about the criticism of the Malthus theory. On what basis the Malthusian uh, that uh, criticized or having some critical approach. Uh, many believe Malthus too pessimistic his productions are based on the belief that the world supply of resources is fixed and not expanding. So, many of the people they criticize Malthus theory because what they, what they do believe they believe that the Malthus is thinking or the Malthus approach that the resources are limited and that cannot be expanded. So, they are criticizing on that, but somewhere sometime the resources that can be expanded also that can be the resources that can be better utilized, utilized and that can be the maximum uses of that resources that can be that can be increased or you can say that uh, that can be the resources that can be uh, renewed that can be they may be renewable resources. So, by that approach that can be increased. Many critics also disagree that population uh, growth is a problem. More people means more economic growth and therefore, production of more good. So, many critics so they uh, uh, disagree with the Malthus approach what they do believe that uh, jaise hum bahut bar religion mein bhi is tarah ki baat karte hain ki do haath hain kamane wale hain to haath honge to apne aap kamayega khayega ya kamayegi khayegi to is tarah ki approach which which are to many of the the uh, they disagree with the Malthusian approach so what uh, they do believe they do believe that jyada log hain to jyada economic growth hoga aur Jada production food ka production hoga. So, they have their own theory and they criticize Malthus theory on the basis of such such uh, such their uh, ideas or their approach. Uh, so, what we can say? We can say that uh, because the Malthus uh, theory is uh, specifically talking about uh, taking care of or talking about ki how the resources that can be protected and how the resources uh, that can be uh, specifically utilized so that uh, the population of that country may not suffer, but uh, many of the geographers, demographers and uh, those who are working on the demographic theory. So, they criticized uh, his approach and they have their certain ideas and beliefs, uh, so that uh, the Malthus theory does not work in that uh, in that uh, present conditions. But some of the they do believe that Malthus theory is very important in present contest because sometimes uh, it is very difficult we cannot uh, enhance or increase uh, resources as per the need of uh, uh, the population and uh, besides the people they sleep with the empty stomach. So, we should have to uh, use such measures, we should have to uh, use such kind of uh, technology so that the population that can be that can be controlled. But the most important what we can say that the most important is that about the, the human mind, about the human values, about uh, the human if they think uh, that small family norm is very very important, uh, small family is a good family. Uh, so, that uh, the people they can give the good education, good health facilities, good living environment and uh, good environmental conditions. So, if small family norms uh, will be there, so that the 
uh, more and more uh, progress in the economy uh, can be taken place. How? Because uh, if a child is getting good education, if a child is healthier, uh, so that uh, that uh, because uh, uh, what we, what we do feel we do feel that human capital is very very important. So if the human is having a good education, good health facility, so uh, the more and more uh, productive activities that can be taken place, uh, the productivity can be increased, the entrepreneurship can be taken place the more and more ideas, entrepreneur uh, skills uh, with the more and more ideas, advanced ideas, a new technology can be used and uh, because of that the uh, small family norms so that can be helpful to make the economy, economy to grow more. Because uh, whenever we uh, uh, study the characteristics of Indian population, so somewhere we uh, discuss ki how the hindrance of economic growth is taking place, why the people they are poor, why the people they are unemployed. So sometimes uh, or the many of the researchers they do have such kind of belief that ki population that must be uh, decreased because uh, sometimes such resources that cannot be increased, that cannot be renewed and uh, to feed the uh, population we are uh, using many many resources uh, just only to to fulfill the needs of the basic needs of people so therefore the uh, small family uh, system that's very important so uh, the different different uh, the economists the different different the geographers the researchers so they have uh, their different approach regarding the demography or on the Malthus theory of population. But the Malthus theory of population that works on uh, regarding taking the population, the food in that direction that is the geometric or the arithmetic, the population increases at the geometric rate and the food that is increased only at the uh, arithmetic rate, arithmetic mean rate. So, if we do not make the check and balance on that population, so that may be the scarcity of the food grains. So, uh, Malthus is not uh, specifically bothering or thinking uh, that unequal distribution in the economy is taking place. So, that is why the people they have their empty stomach, they, have, they, are, they are hungry, but, uh, but uh, because uh, the non-availability of uh, such kind of the resources or you can say that economic growth cannot be taken place at that uh, pace so that the people they can get their food requirements easily. Uh, so that is why the Malthus is talking about key positive and the uh, negative checks that is uh, uh, very very important, but the moral check is very important to control the population. Ultimately all the policies uh, of the government or uh, started by any organization that can only be fruitful or the successful if the people they accept in their mind, if the people they do not understand, if the people they do not accept that policies or the relevance of that policy in their mind. So, it is very difficult we cannot think about the success of, of these, these uh, policies, maybe that may be the good policy. Uh, but the people they should have to accept it, they should have to understand it and they should have by understanding that they should have to try to execute that. So, if uh, that will be executed in the proper spirit, so any policy which is started by government for the welfare of the people, for the development of people, for the enhancement of uh, improve the economic conditions of the people for the reduction of poverty, for the reduction of unemployment, for the increasing the entrepreneurial skills. So, that can only be possible if the proper object which is mentioned in that policies for that specific purpose, if it is understood by the people, if it is uh, the if, uh, mind of the people, if accept that uh, key that is beneficial for them for specific that kind of the purpose which is mentioned in that policy. So, certainly that policy programs, any yojana that will be successful. So, uh, human uh, psychology or the human mind or the human acceptance that is very, very important.
for the execution of any kind of uh, policy programs may be regarding population or may be regarding by any kind of benefit which can be which can be helpful for the enhance the growth of the people of that uh, for the enhancement of the uh, economic growth and as well as the development of the people may be the social economic or the political so the approach of uh, malthus in present con co context is also having importance if you understand it in a proper way thank you very much for uh, uh, listening or uh, uh, please uh, uh, give your comment and uh, 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 any suggestions which is required and please don't forget to uh, like or subscribe this channel thank you very much